we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By all we have done, by all we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We are truly sorry on the good For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. Then we may come out of your will and walk in your ways to the glory in that name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord of our lips, now thou shalt be made by praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, Come and bless us, the Lord. Lord. Come, and let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the God of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to Him with songs. The Lord is the great God and the great King of all our lives. In His hands and the caverns of the earth and the mountains and hills of His awesome. As he is the word may be, in his hands and bones of the dry land. Come, let us bow down in thee, and kneel before the Lord of our Lord. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that day we provide our sins to the Lord. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, cast out to the east and say, For you are my great and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is seriously assessed over me. For you are my child of strength, and to your hands I commend my spirit, that you may have the meaning of the Lord, the God of truth. I have no such thing to the Lord as I was, I have put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice in the day of the God of your mercy, that you may see my affliction, you know my distress, you have not shut me up from the God of the enemy. You have set my feet in the open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes consume with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. My life is this grief, and my years are society. My spirit fails because of my patience, and my bones are consumed me. I have come my reproaches to all my enemies, and even to my neighbors. Thank you. 
Reading from the book of Exodus. Moses said to the Lord, O oh my Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor even now that you have spoken to your servant. I'm slow of speech and slow of tongue. Then the Lord said to him, Who gives speech to mortals? Who makes them mute or deaf, seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, and I will be with your mouth, and teach you what you are to speak. But he said, O oh my Lord, please send someone else. Then the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, What of your brother Aaron the Levite? I know that he can speak fluently. Even now he is coming out to meet you, and when he sees, his, sees you, his heart will be glad. You shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth, and I will be with your mouth and with his mouth, and will teach you what you shall do. He shall, he indeed shall speak for you to the people. He shall serve as a mouth for you, and you shall serve as God for him. Take in your hand the staff with which you shall perform the signs. Moses went back to his father-in-law Jethro and said to him, Please let me go back to my kindred in Egypt and see whether they are still living. And Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. The Lord said to Moses and Midian, Go back to Egypt, for all those who were seeking your life are dead. So Moses took his wife and his sons and put them on a donkey and went back to the land of Egypt. And Moses carried the staff of God in his hand. And the Lord said to Moses, When you go back to Egypt, see that you perform before Pharaoh all the wonders that I have put in your power. But I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my firstborn son. I said to you, Let my son go, that he may worship me. But you refused to let him go, now I will kill your firstborn son. On the way to a place where they spent the night, the Lord met him and tried to kill him. But Zipporah took a flint and cut off her son's foreskin and touched Moses' feet with it and said, Truly you are a bridegroom of blood to me. So he let him alone. It was then she said, A bridegroom of blood by circumcision. The Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he went, and he met him at the mountain of God and kissed him. Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord with which he had sent him, and all the signs with which he had charged him. Then Moses and Aaron went and assembled all the elders of the Israelites. Aaron spoke all the words that the Lord had spoken to Moses and performed the signs in the sight of the people. The people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had given heed to the Israelites and that he had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 9. Surely it is God who saves him. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, we shall shower our water with rejoicing and the springs of salvation, and all of David shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name, and make his deeds known among the peoples. See that every man remembers his name is exalted. Since so my mercy is the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud in heaven, 
reading from the gospel according to Mark. Jesus and the disciples went on from there and passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying, and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent. For on the way, they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be the first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Who ever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. The word of the Lord. Nineteen. O ruler of the universe, O God, great deeds are the Christian name, the best of the universe of the way of the world is righteousness and truth, O King of all ages, who can throw us to the honor's form and sing the praises of your name, and the honor of the whole world, all nations have put on the ears of all the heaven for you, because you have done so many works to the individual. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We now, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and the Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered on the Jesus' power, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Father's Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, thou be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and our sins in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Show us your mercy, Lord. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. You save now among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the Lord be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with the Holy Spirit. 
a mighty God by the hand of Moses, your servant, you led your people out of slavery and made them free at last. Granted, your church, following the example of your prophet Martin Luther <clears throat> King, may resist oppression in the name of your love and may strive to secure for all your children the blessed liberty of the gospel of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, you made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are near and to those who are far away. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, we pray that you would make the church one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. Guard and guide the Anglican Communion, the Episcopal Church. the Diocese of Congor in South Sudan, the Church of Nigeria, the Diocese of Kandagora in Nigeria. And with our Bishop Phoebe, Canon Sharon, the clergy and leadership of our diocese, bring us to true holiness, complete repentance, We lift you especially St. Mary's Church in Dyersburg, St. Thomas the Apostle in Humboldt, and Grace St. Luke's in Memphis. We lift you St. Andrew's, consecrate us in prayer work and study. Bless our worship guns truly to serve you. And bless the poor and needy who clamor for your help and our outreach partners, especially the Collierville Food Pantry, the Collierville Literacy Council, and the Collierville Young Life. For the healing ministry in this church and in the world. We pray for good weather on Easter and that we can gather and glorify you. We pray now for special needs and concerns a lot or silently. General Thanksgiving, Almighty God, God, God of all mercies, we are going to serve you in your own fight. Now we bring this morning kindness to us and all who we are made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and the blessing of the sight. But above all, may we be the love of you. We enter the world with all the needs of us. For the needs of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray to give us such grandness and mercies that we truly thank the hearts we may show forth your prayers, not only with our lips, but in our eyes, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking through you, and all in this righteousness of our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom we give the Holy Spirit, we honor and glory throughout our ages. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thank Thanks you, God. Glory to God, whose power at work within us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.